This is the analog pocket. While it's able to play your Game Boy cards straight out of the box, to fully unlock its potential requires a little work. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of setting up your analog pocket. Links to the products and software I use in this video will be in the description below. First thing you'll need is an SD card. I'd recommend at least 32 gigabytes, and depending on how many ROMs you plan to add, it may be a good idea to go a bit larger. I opted to go with a 128GB Samsung Endurance, which I bought for just $13 at Best Buy. Once you have an SD card, you'll want to hop over to your computer and plug it in. To get the best transfer speeds, I recommend plugging the microSD card into the computer using an adapter. But if that's not possible, you can always just connect the pocket using the USB-C cable they provide. If you use this method, be sure to turn on USB-SD Access in the Developer Options. Before we can add any cores or games, you'll need to update the firmware on your Pocket. Navigate to the Analog website, go to Support, and then Pocket. Download the latest version of the firmware. You'll then place this file onto the root of your SD card. Then eject the SD card, pop it into your Pocket, and if everything works correctly, the progress bar will appear while it updates the firmware. After this is complete, it's time to add some cores. My preferred tool for managing cores in the Pocket is Pocket Sync by Neil Morrison 44 on GitHub. Install whichever version your computer requires, and once installed, it should look something like this. Click Connect to Pocket and find either your Pocket or SD card on the left. Once it's connected, you're ready to add cores. Simply click on whichever cores you're interested in, and then hit Install. Once installed, be sure to check for any dependencies as well. Then, last but not least, in the Game section, you can add your games. If you click on any of the systems you have the core installed for, Pocket Sync will open the Games folder for that system. Then, you just drag and drop. Once you have your games added, that's it! At this point, you can eject your SD card or Pocket, and you're ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Thanks for sticking around until the end, and if you already haven't, make sure to like and subscribe for more retro-themed content, and help me bring it back.